usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to Be Lady TV. Bianca here, and today I have my final haul of 2023. So if you're interested to see the products that I got, keep watching. Okay, y'all. So I recorded this part already, but my camera died and it did not save the footages. So I'm going to be doing part of this all over again. So bear with me. The excitement is not going to be the same, but most of these products I had already been using anyway. So let's just get into it. First up is the Kaali uh, Vanilla 28. Uh, in my last haul, I had that uh, invite only Amber, didn't like it, returned it, got this, she's that girl. I should have just went ahead and got this or the Eat Juicy Apple, as you can see. <laughs> I put quite the dent in it, quite the dent, and I've only had it for maybe about like two weeks, if that. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect layering fragrance. It's perfect to wear alone on its own. Excuse me, it's literally just that girl, okay? If you haven't gotten this from Kaali, get this. If you don't get anything else, definitely, definitely get this one. If you're a vanilla girl. Um, next up, I got a new cleanser. This is the Kinship Naked Apple um, Oil-Free Blemish Control Gel Cleanser. I really like this, it legit. It smells like apples and I almost like it. It's probably on par with my Exuviance AHA Deep Clean Cleanser, or whatever the name of it is. Like, it's that good. I absolutely love it. So, shout out to you, Kinshu. The next skincare thing I have is the Undefined Beauty R&R &R Serum uh, SPF 50 Tinted Mineral Sunscreen in the shade Deep. I have this one already in just like the regular uh, SPF. That's not, it's like tinted, but it's not like this. And I think when I say tinted, it's just not like white. But this one is like, this again, the shade Deep. That's what it looks like. And it's literally what I have on my face today. See, I already did the swatches for y'all. So like blend it out and it's gone. It's got nice coverage. All I did was that, some concealer, my brows and mascara, of course, and I put like some powder on top of it. And I really am enjoying this face. So Undefined Beauty, you did your big one with this one, okay? Okay. Um, then I have the Morphe Broad Spectrum Sunset or Setting Spray SPF 30. I had one of these before, but I lost it. It disappeared into thin air and glue legs and walked away. I don't know, but it's not here. Okay. But I really like this for, of course, days when I'm wearing makeup. I want to reapply SPF and I can't because I'm wearing makeup. So yeah, I did spray this already on my face the first time I recorded, so I don't want to overdo it, but it does give like a nice glowy uh finish and it sprays really nice and it has a good like tropical scent so this right here is the dior backstage concealer flash perfector concealer i have the shade 4w i um a while back when i first got my dior powder the face and body powder powder no powder I think I did like a short where I was thinking about doing a full face of Dior, you know, almost full face of Dior, that little thing that I've been doing. And I really wanted to try it because I have that powder and I have the foundation, the backstage foundation. So I got the matching concealer. That's what the applicator looks like. It's like a, like a paintbrush almost. I don't know if you can see that. I can see the bristles. Yeah, and that is the color. So I do think that'll be a nice color for a nice under eye shade. Then I got the Dior Rosewood um, set. I don't know, I don't know. This is the Lip Maximizer in Intense Rosewood. It's what I'm wearing on my lips. Super cute. 
with just like a NYX lip liner, this, and then I have that Fenty hologram lip gloss like in the center. So pretty. And then this is the Dior Rosy Glow. Yeah, Rosy Glow Powder Blush in the shade Rosewood. That is what it looks like. I do feel like it looks like a shade that I have already. But I think it'd be cute. If not, yeah, no, I don't mind taking stuff back. But I didn't swatch this. Let me swatch it. Hmm. I don't see it. Like, it's on my finger. Okay, it's right there. I don't know, Dior. I don't know. Okay, so the last things I got, Miel, um, which is a hair care brand that I really enjoy. They had like a crazy sale. Yeah, now I gotta get them now. They had like a crazy Black Friday sale where like everything was five dollars. Okay, so I picked up a few things. So um, again, some of it I have been using. This is the um, pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with whole. Yep, it's good. That's what I used on this. You probably can't <laughs> tell, but this is like a blown out bantu knot. Some of the pieces are like getting straight or whatever, but this is really good. It smells good. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I feel like that with a lot of mousses actually, but um, yes, really super good. And the, the curls that's holding are holding out. Okay. You see? Yeah. So I really like that. Um, this is a product that I have used before. This is the pomegranate and honey curl refreshing spray. Light holding mist with intense hydration to shine and redefine thick curly type four curls. Anti-freeze, yes. I usually just use this like in the morning after I take my hair out of my bonnet, spray it all over and then you kind of just like juice it up so it looks like something, right? Um, I think I got two of those. Two of those. This one broke. I started to like email them and complain, but I was like, I'm just gonna pour this into that one when I'm done. I'm not even, I just don't have the energy for stuff like that. And it was $5. Like, I have another bottle. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, this one is the Mongongo Oil Style Setting Spray. I haven't used this one yet. But it's to set the hair for indirect heatless styles. So apply the damp hair, comb through, blow dry, or set. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. We'll see which side of the spectrum it ends up on when I do an empties on it. But yeah, I got that. I got the Rice Water Collection Shine Mist. Uh, excellent for length retention for daily use. As you can see, it's broken. And I'm just gonna put this in a different spray bottle too. Like I just don't have it in me to like harass companies about simple stuff like that. So there's that. I hadn't used it obviously because it's broken. And this is the rice water split in therapy. Um, this is you're supposed to put on kind of like a a treatment. So what is that? Dime size amount into the palms of hand. Manage. Massage, excuse me, and apply product from root to tip. Apply to ends of hair, place a plastic cap on hand and leave on for 10 minutes. Rinse and proceed with shampooing. So you do this before you shampoo. Um, so yeah, I'm, I haven't tried this either. I'm interested to see how this does to prevent me from getting split ends in this dry desert heat. Um, and the last thing I got is the Barbasso Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. Um, I really just wanted to try the difference between the mousses. Let's see. After hair has been cleaned and is divided in sections, apply a liberal amount, hair and comb, 
fingering from root to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't, I know. It's a moose. We're gonna work it out. And that's it, you guys. That is the last Be a Lady TV haul of 2023. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out, watching me do this final unboxing haul update situation. Let me know what you guys are buying or not buying in the new year. I think I'm done buying. Well, I'm obviously done buying hair products because I don't need that. I think I'm going to chill out on fragrances for a while. I think I am. This has been a year of fragrance for me, but we'll see. All right, y'all. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.